Hi, I'm Marna and this is the Dolls Rescue Channel and today we're going to unbox uh, Ruby Anderson. Wouldn't it have been cute if they would have called her like Ruby Red House or Ruby Red something? I really like um, uh, Jade Hunter's name, you know, Two Shades of Grey. I, I wish they would have done that with every single one of the Rainbow High Dolls, but they did not. So Ruby Anderson. And then we're going to show you some clothes. So let me go get a pick and axe, a bowie knife, some scissors, some clippers, and some pliers so that we can pull her out of the box. Okay, almost 10 minutes later, actually just over 10 minutes later, we have the doll carefully out of the box. Um, I do my reviews a little bit different than most. Um, I like the color of her hair very much. Love the color of her hair. Look how stiff that glued in product is. Seriously, you could probably play the drums with that. And then she has one other curl in the back, a little piece of packaging still, uh, that is not as glued together. Okay, so I'm gonna probably wash her hair. I am gonna pull this hat off if I can. Okay, I wanted to show you, I do kind of like this, the doll has a hole in her head, and the hat has a stem in the center. And you line that up, and as I understand it, the River Kindle has the same thing. I do like that, it's kind of cute. Um, she has a cute outfit on. I like that they come with a stand, I like that very much. She has real cute little heels on. Uh, I'll tell you in a minute how they do when you take them off. Boy, those are tighter than violets. Uh, red bottom shoes, of course, red. And really cute clothes. This, however, everyone is saying is not an actual shirt. It's just a wrap around with Velcro. And that's cute, but it would have been cuter. That might be sewn on. Oh, here we go. The Velcro's in the back. J Dolls, however, UK, did take a jacket off one of the cheerleaders okay that's attached right there you could cut it free um took the jacket off the cheerleader and made an actual jacket off of it that was really cool well let's get her undressed and look at some possibilities i do like that her shirts <coughs> excuse me are separates because I was able to put this on uh, with the skirt and scarf and hat I made her. Look though, the seam is messed up here. I don't really like that, but it's not the biggest flaw I've seen in these dolls on unboxing. But I made her this little scarf with this variegated um, fabric or uh, yarn. I think it's kind of cute for Valentine's Day. Um, well, any day of the year, but Valentine's Day is cold out, let's be honest. I like my fashion dolls to wear, well, fashions, where they are short, sexy, or elegant. And I just made this little sexy uh, red dress for Ruby. I took the um, Sunny Madison dress and I laid it down on a piece of paper. I drew around it, made a pattern, and I used this stretch material. I love this stuff. Y'all have seen me in my previous um, videos, I make the stretch pants. Well, I have them ready to sew, but I haven't got that far. And how I did though that pattern was I just simply laid my doll out on the stretch fabric and again made a, a little um, pattern with a piece of the brown paper bag and I just drew around. This is stretch fabric but you still have to come at least halfway up those hips allowing for seam. Um, but it stretches and it's very forgiving. However, I, my sewing machine says no and I'm not going to fight it. So I sew these by hand. This fabric is a little different from this one. Um, I got this one at Hobby Lobby. I got this one at Walmart. This is the first thing I'm making out of the Walmart, so we'll see. It cost about half as much, but it does have the high shine. 
I made this little uh, dress and it was different in my mind that it came out on the doll, but that's okay. When you craft uh, and you make up patterns or change patterns, or sometimes like for me, even when you're going by the pattern, uh, it doesn't always come out the first time. It's kind of a learning curve. Call them practice dresses a lot of times. And while the pattern is not there yet, because I like my dresses a little tighter, I went a little larger with the sequins because I did not know how my sewing machine would do with them. But here's how I made this. Okay, so this is how I arrived at this pattern. I wanted a little sexy Valentine's Day dress. So I used, I have a Barbie pattern and it is a fold over uh, pattern. This is so simple. This pattern looks like the front and a sleeve. It's not, it's a fold over. I got this free on um, Pinterest and you cut this side on the fold, which folds out and gives you two of these. And then you um, sew up to your armpit and what you get is this little top. And most people use it with this side forward because that's the way it goes. But I cut the back area just a little wider and I doubled my fabric so that it was finished, had a finished edge. And then I just added a skirt. And when you do practice skirts, they don't always come off the way you have in your mind, it takes more steps than you thought to get there. And that's where I'm at with this. But as you can see, I just pinned that down and I put in my pleats as I sewed. And then I tacked, I used white because white was on the machine. And at this point I knew that I had more work to do. So anyway, I tied this so that it wouldn't slide down or up or change and I wanted to use that as my closure. I was gonna use a hook and eye, and I thought, why just tie it shut? I added lace to the bottom, and for this one, I'm gonna start lace up here, come all the way around and finish. But what I have done is we're gonna go with Mardi Gras. I took this sequin, um, fabric that I found, where did I get this? Hobby Lobby on clearance. I love it. It's got a little bit of stretch to it. I took it, I cut this a little larger, mostly because I wanted to try it on my machine. I have not sewn this on the sewing machine before, but as you can see, I did all right. I doubled the stitch. Uh, and by the time I add the lace, it's gonna be a little thick in here. So we'll see how that goes, but I think we'll get away with it. What I wanna do is the same thing with the skirt on that without putting the lace on yet. I thought about red because that is um, Ruby's color, but I think I'm gonna go with this blue. I really like it and it's spring and it's Eastery and Mardi Gras. So I think that's what we're gonna do. So right now, putting the right sides together, this is the top, and I will lay it like this, face up. And then when you cut your fabric, be sure to cut your, what I did was I just almost doubled this, just less than double of the length of the top. And I cut it out so that I had the pattern on the fabric that I wanted. This is kind of a big print, but I think we can pull it off, especially for uh, Mardi Gras. And then all I do, it's very, very simple, is put this about in half and pin in the middle, pin at each side. Is that about middle? Eh. That's pretty close. As you can see, I got about an inch on each side. And then I'll pull this back to line up with the edge of the top and I will pin it there. Do the same on the other side and then on both sides, I will grab this in the middle, push it down, and then 
when I take it to the sewing machine as I'm sewing, I will add two or three pleats in there as I sew. Probably three here, two in the front. Okay, so here's what we have, our little gathered uh, skirt. I think the uh, print size is going to be all right for this. I did use the turquoise. I sewed it. I started at the top. I did tack it down so that it wouldn't like come apart. Anyway, we're going to try that on our dolls. But I want to give you a little hack or idea. Um, I break sewing needles. I've told you before, I am not a slow and easy kind of person. I'm like Tina. I don't do anything slow and easy. And anyway, I keep this old, I, I can't tell you how old this is. I probably, I don't know, 20 years maybe. Vite, it's a used to be a guinea pig vitamin bottle. And I keep this in my sewing. And you can hear, these are all broken needles. When you take them out of your sewing machine, you need to be careful with them because you don't want to find them again in your foot. And what I do is I just keep this in with my in my little sewing box and when I break a needle put it in there all right let's try this on her it got a little wider here than I wanted it but better wide than too narrow when you sew on gold this gold um, metallic ribbon or silver silver has white undertones gold has yellow undertones so you use white for silver gold for i'm sorry yellow for gold but this is how our little dress looks and i think the the fabric size is okay would i like it a little smaller of course i would but i think it worked out good and she has easy access for beads and that's what i'll be working on next when I opened my um, Violet Willow Rainbow High Doll, I had bought this outfit and tried it on her. I love this on her, and Barbie got a pair of shoes and a purse out of it because, of course, those won't fit Rainbow High. These, however, did, so I'm going to set that over. I bought an extra one because I like the top so much. I don't know. Let me open this so I can show you the dress out of the box. I knew I couldn't go wrong for a dollar from the Dollar Tree because I have Barbies. Oh, look at that. It's not one piece, but it does have the bust holder. Interesting. Um, can you see that fabric? It's that shiny uh, pr uh, stuff. It's a little stretchy. Yeah, it's kind of stretchy. And it has Velcro in the back. I did want to say... Well, that's not going to fit Rainbow High, but we will look at it. I did want to say, I do appreciate uh, how well the, these clothes are made for these Rainbow High dolls. Um, if you have kids that play with these dolls, they're going to want extra clothes. I uh, need to do some clipping there, but it's still not an awful job for a dollar. I probably couldn't buy enough fabric for a dollar. Okay, not real cute. Uh, could be a lot tighter. I like them tighter and sexier and shorter. But for a child, now look at the stole has uh, Velcro on it. Let's see how that looks. Probably going to choke Rainbow High. Uh, for a child, it's not bad. For an adult, you're probably going to want to do some um, tailoring. But for $1 and the Barbie shoes and everything, it's a good deal. I did tailor her little dress a little bit and kind of tuck it up. I like it better. It's kind of cute on her and, you know, rainbow theme. And speaking of rainbow theme, we have these uh, Rainbow High. Darren 3D printed these. He came up with the model, which is the pattern, on his own. And they are made for the rainbow high foot. However, they will also fit a few other dolls. Um, and what you do is you craft the top of these shoes, as you saw me do on, or if you haven't, check out either our Monster High video where I do the shoes or the Jade Hunter box opening where I show how to craft those shoes. This is a hidden giveaway. And we are going to give away the 10 colors of the rainbow, plus, since this is the Ruby, um, what's her last name? Anderson. 
doll, we're going to give two pairs of pink and two pairs of red. This is for our subscribers. You must be subscribed to our channel. I must be able to go to your channel and verify that you are subscribed to my channel. You must leave a comment below. That's where we draw from. It's all uh, above board. We just hit that computer thing, check, make sure you're a subscriber, and you're the winner. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe.